hello again and welcome to my channel this tutorial is for another crochet along for a throw or blanket and um, it's called an air and I've worked this in a double knit yarn with a five millimeter hook if you want a larger blanket you could work in um, an Aran yarn with a six or a six point five millimeter hook um, the finished size will be around about 52 inches worked with double knit yarn with a 5mm hook. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you can use any colour way that you want to um, and there will be a written pattern available uh, shortly. I worked the original blanket in what I would term as autumn shades but for this one on the tutorials I'm going to use quite a, a bright selection of colours. Going to start as always with a slip knot onto the hook we're going to work four chain and we'll join into that first chain oops into that first chain there with a slip stitch to form the circle that's going to be the centre of our blanket. Into this ring we're going to work 12 doubles. <clears throat> Excuse me, the first one as always will be the three chain that counts as the first stitch. So we'll do another 11 double crochets into this circle. I'll just mention as well that the terms that I use are US terms. I do get quite a few comments saying um, that the terms don't correspond with my accent, but I do prefer US terms to the UK terms. They always seem to make that little bit more sense. So just working <clears throat> the doubles into this centre ring. We start with a, a circular blanket that will turn square as we progress through the rows. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And the final stitch is twelve and we're going to join onto <clears throat> that first stitch with a slip stitch and there we've got our center formed <clears throat> I'm going to snip off the yarn and pull the end through so that's what we'll have to start with so now on to row two if you want to start with um, a three chain as a starting stitch feel free to do so on each of these rows but I tend to do a standing um, stitch to start with just so that it looks a little bit neater so I'm going to join with a slip knot onto the hook <clears throat> we can start in any stitch we're going to work three doubles so if you've joined your yarn to the stitch you'll work the three chain but I'm going to do a standing double as the starting stitch so into that stitch we work a starting double plus another two doubles into that same stitch so we've got three stitches in that first stitch there I'm going to do a single into the next stitch and then we work three doubles into the next one and that's the pattern repeat we're going to do that all the way around so a single into the next one <clears throat> and then work three doubles into the following stitch and you can pause the video at any point to catch up on each row 
for these faster rows I'll just work the whole row along with you. I'm going to catch the tails of yarn as well as I'm going along. So we've done the single, we're now going to do three doubles. <coughs> and a single into the next and then the last stitch will be the final single we're going to join into the top of the first stitch there with a slip stitch And again, I'm going to snip off the yarn, pull that end through and fasten off. So we're ready for row three. <clears throat> for row three, again, I'm going to join the yarn to the hook. And we're going to work in any of the single crochets. So we've got the three doubles and the singles in between. We're going to start with uh, one of the singles. I'm going to back post single around that single. Like so. I'm now going to work two chains. We're going to skip the three doubles and we're going to back post the next single. Chain two, skip the three doubles there and we're going to back post single the next single. So we're actually working behind the previous rows. We're going to do that all the way around. Chain two, back post single around the single and we're just skipping all of the doubles in this row and just carry on all the way around when we get to the final <clears throat> stitch which is the stitch that we started with we do the two chain, skip those doubles and we're going to join into that first single with a slip stitch. So we've got six chain two spaces that are sitting behind our work. Again we're going to just snip off the yarn and fasten off pull that yarn through and we're ready then to start the next row if you're working your um, blanket in just the one colour at this point you would be able to slip stitch into the chain space because we're going to work the next row into these chain spaces here that are behind the work. So each two chain space will have three doubles. So I'm doing a standing starting stitch there. That's one, two and three. So we've got three doubles behind these three doubles here worked into the two chain space sorry we, we do five doubles here we've done three there's four and the next one is five so we've got five doubles that are sitting behind the three doubles that we did on this row here. We're going to skip the singles, the back post singles that we did 
to form these two chain spaces and we're going to work five doubles into each of those two chain spaces. So we skip the single, we're working behind the three doubles, we're going to do five doubles into that next two chain space. And then the same again into the next two chain space. We're just going to do the same all the way around. So each of the two chain spaces that are sitting behind our work will have the five doubles. So I'll, I'll meet you when we get to the end of this row. When you've finished the last five stitches into that final two chain space, we're just going to join into the first double with a slip stitch. Pull the yarn through and fasten off. So the front will look like this, the back is going to look like this. So we're ready to start our next row. This next row is row five and we're going to work into the space between the five double crochet sets so it's this space here that sits between the two sets of five and we're going to work popcorns into this space so we're going to start with a standing double and we work another three doubles into that same space we take the hook from the loop into that first stitch, pick up the loop and pull it through. We're going to chain one to finish off the popcorn. <clears throat> and we're going to then work another two popcorns into that same space. So we'll have three popcorns in each of the spaces between the five doubles. So we've got four doubles, pull the loop through and chain one to fasten off that popcorn and then we do a third popcorn into the same space. So you can see there that we've got the three popcorns. I'll just slightly enlarge so that you can see the three popcorns there in that space. We're going to chain one. Use that back down again and then we're going to back post single each of the doubles in this five double set so from the back to the front pick up the loop yarn over and pull through we're going to do that on each of these doubles so each double will have a back post single worked around 
just realised I've skipped one there. I'll start that bit again. It's a little bit tricky to find that first stem of the double. There's one, two, three, four and a five. So we've got three popcorns and five back post singles around these five doubles here. We're going to chain one and then we're going to repeat this pattern repeat now. We're going to do three popcorns into this next space followed by five back post singles. So we start by working the four doubles that will form the first popcorn. Chain one to fasten off the popcorn, but we're not doing an, another chain in between the popcorns. We go straight into that next popcorn. Pull, oops, pull the loop through, chain one to fasten off and then we go straight into the third popcorn. I'm going to chain one to finish off the um, the, the third popcorn we're going to chain one and then start with the back post singles and just make sure that you've got five back post singles around these five doubles so we've got three, four and five and then chain one. So we've got a chain one after the three popcorns, we've got a chain one after we've done the five singles and then we've got the three popcorns in these spaces. So if you want to pause the video and carry on around until we get to this last five back post singles we'll do a chain one to, to end the row and we just join into this first popcorn here with a slip stitch and then fasten off so I'll meet you when we get to the end of this round on to round six again I'm going to join the yarn to the hook with a slip stitch and we're going to start in the first of any of these five back post singles. We're going to work a double into each of those stitches. So I'll start with a standing double into that first one. And then one in each of the next four. And there's the fifth one. So we've got one double in each of those five um, back post singles. We're now going to do a front post single around the top of the middle popcorn. So if you can see there, just put the hook between the top of the stitch pick up a loop, yarn over and pull through. So we've actually caught the middle popcorn there. 
we're going to repeat that pattern now all the way around so we're going to skip the popcorn at either side of that middle one we only do the single into the top of the middle one so we go straight over to the next five back post singles and we're going to do a double into each one of those stitches So we've got five doubles and then we're going to again go into the top of the popcorn there, yarn over and pick up a loop, pull through and then we go straight onto the next five doubles. So that forms the pattern repeat for this row. Five doubles, one in each of the back post singles, and then we just catch the center popcorn there with a front post single into the top of the stitch, and then back to the five doubles, one in each of the back post singles from the last row so if you want to carry on working that same pattern repeat five doubles one front post single into the middle popcorn and then five doubles and so on we're just going to go all the way around uh, working the same way and i'll meet you when we get to the end of this row when we've worked all the way around the last stitch will be the front post single into the popcorn and then we just go straight across to that first stitch that we worked and join with a slip stitch and then we can fasten off the yarn and pull through So at this point you might want to work in um, the ends of yarn so that we've not got a lot of tails to work in afterwards but I'll carry on with the next row for now. So we're going to start in any stitch anywhere on the round and we're going to work a, a back post double in each stitch so again i'm going to join with a slip uh, with a slip knot onto the hook i'm going to start with a standing back post double around any of the stitches so we'll just do it around this one we're going to do the same around every stitch When we come to the front post single that we did here, again, we just work a back post double around that stitch. And then a back post double around the five doubles that we worked on the last row. So again, you might want to just pause the video at this point and work your stitches all the way around. Uh, just a little bit of information. To make the blanket you'll need around about 800 grams of double knit yarn and you can use any, um, any double knit at all you can either use what you've got in a a stash or 
if you're purchasing yarn to do it you will need around about 800 grams that's to make a, a throw that's round about 52 inches square So I'll leave you to carry on working the back post doubles all the way around and I'll meet you when we get to the end of the row. Don't worry at this point if your work seems to be um, frilling or cupping slightly. It will all flatten off as we go um, further into the blanket. So we're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. And at this point, we're not going to fasten off the yarn. If you would prefer to do it in another colour, that's perfectly fine. But for this row, I'm going to carry on with the same colour. So we're going to chain three, and that's going to count as the first stitch. If you're working with a new colour, you can start this with a standing uh, double here at this point and then I'm going to double into the same stitch so we've got two stitches in one stitch there we've got two doubles one is the chain three and one is the double into that same stitch we're going to do the same all the way around we're going to work two doubles into every stitch so we had 36 stitches on the last round. At the end of this round, we will have 72 stitches. So it's just a straightforward round of two doubles in each stitch all the way around. So again, if you want to pause the video and work your two stitches in each stitch all the way around and I'll see you when we get to the end of this round. So when you reach the last stitch again we're going to just join with a slip stitch, pull the yarn through and fasten off. So that's completed row 8. So for row 9 we're going to do three loop puff stitches and I'm going to start in with a new colour. Use a nice bright green on this one. So to start the three loop puff we're going to just work in any stitch at all and I'm going to do a standing um, puff stitch for this one. Just zoom in slightly. So yarn over into the stitch, pick up a loop, yarn over into the stitch, pick up a loop, yarn over into the stitch and pick up a loop. So we've now got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got seven loops on the hook. We yarn over and we're going to pull through all of those stitches. We do a chain one to fasten off the puff stitch and we're going to skip the next stitch and work a three loop puff stitch into the next one. So into yarn over into the stitch pick up a loop yarn over into the stitch pick up a loop yarn over into the stitch and pick up a loop so that's the three loop puff stitch that we're doing here and then chain one to fasten off skip the next stitch and again we're going to do exactly the same thing into the next one we're just going to do that all the way around this row. Skip a stitch, work a three loop puff stitch, skip a stitch, puff stitch, skip a stitch, puff stitch and so on all the way around. So again if you want to pause the video at this point and work your puff stitch row and I'll meet you 
when we get to the end. So I've worked the puff stitch into each alternate stitch. At the end of this round you will have 36 puff stitches. We're going to just join into the top of that first one with a slip stitch. Snip off the yarn and fasten off. So for the next row we're going to work into the stitches here that we skipped from the last row which in this case is the pink stitches here and we're also going to work around the puff stitches. So we'll start with a standing stitch around the puff stitch we're going to do a front post double so we'll do the front post double around the puff stitch there and then into this stitch that we skipped on the previous row in this case it's the pink stitch we're going to work a treble into that stitch so yarn over twice into the stitch pick up a loop yarn over through two once yarn over through two twice and yarn over through two a third time and then we go around the top of the puff stitch with a front post double and then a treble into the skip stitch that sits between the two puff stitches we're going to work all the way around exactly the same a puff stitch, uh, sorry, a front post double around the puff stitch and then a treble into the skipped stitch. A front post double around the puff and a treble into that skipped stitch. So we're working into around the puff stitches that are from row nine. We're working into the skipped stitches from row eight. And it's just the same all the way around a treble followed by a front post double. Again, you can pause the video at any point and work the rest of your row rather than just watching me working these two stitches. So carry on working the pattern repeat all the way around until we get to this last stitch here. At the end of this row, you will again have 72 stitches and I'll meet you when we get to the end. As we've worked all the way around, the last stitch is going to be the treble into that skipped stitch there between those last two popcorns. We're going to just join into that first stitch with a slip stitch, pull the yarn through and fasten off. So that's completed row nine. For row, uh, sorry, row 10, um, we've got 72 stitches altogether. If you want to just do a quick um, count up of your stitches to make sure that you're still on track. So the next row, we're working popcorns again, as we did on this row here. So I'm going to use the same colour uh, for my popcorns on this row, but feel free to use whichever colour you want to use. So we're going to start in any stitch above a popcorn. So it's the front post double that's around a popcorn that we're going to start in, not the trebles. So again, start with a slip knot onto the hook and into this stitch this front post double here 
we're going to work two popcorns. So it's the four doubles. There's the fourth one and then pull, oops, pull the loop through and a chain one to fasten off the popcorn. I'm now going to do a second popcorn into that same stitch. And again, pull the loop through and a chain one to fasten off. We now skip the next stitch, which is the the treble from the previous row. We're going to skip that one. We're going to go over into the next front post double. We're going to work two popcorns again into that same stitch. There's the second one. I'm going to skip the treble and go straight over into the next front post double and work the two popcorns into that stitch. So this is the pattern repeat for this row. We're working two popcorns into each of the front post doubles and we're skipping each of the trebles. We're just going to work that same pattern repeat all the way around the row. So I've gotten three sets of two popcorns there. I'll let you pause the video again at this point and work all the way around working alternate stitches and we've got two popcorns in each stitch. So there will be 72 popcorns all together and I'll see you when we get to the end of this round. We'll just point out that the um, the work will seem to frill a little bit at this point. Don't worry because it will flatten out as we go further um, into the rows. I just don't want you to worry and think that you've got too many popcorns um, for the size of the row. It does tend to frill up a little bit as you can see there, but it will flatten out once we get um, a few more rows worked. So I'll let you pause the video, carry on and I'll meet you when I get to the end. I just wanted to point out that there's not, uh, there's not too many popcorns if your work is starting to frill a little bit. So we've completed row 11. I'm now going to join a new colour to the hook. And for this row we're going to work a front post double around each popcorn all the way around. So it's a nice easy row. We'll start with a standing front post double. And we'll just work a front post around each of the popcorns. All the way around. And as we had 72 popcorns, we'll have 72 front post doubles. at the end of this row. 
So it's a nice, easy round that we don't have to think about too much. So again, if you want to pause the video at this point and work your front post doubles and I'll meet you when we get to the end. So I've worked all the way around the popcorns with a front post double. We're going to join into that first stitch with a slip stitch, snip off the yarn and pull through to fasten off. So the circles flattened out quite a bit from the way it was frilling. For this next row, you may find that the um, that your work will cup slightly, but again, don't worry because it will flatten once we get a little bit further in. So again, we're going to start in any stitch and I'm going to start away from where I fastened off so that we've not got all the ends in the same place. And for this row, we're going to work a back post half double. We're just going to work one back post half double around every stitch. So a half double, yarn over, in front of the stitch, pick up the loop, yarn over and pull through all three. We're just going to do this all the way around and it will form a ridge from the previous row. So just another nice and easy row to finish off this first part of the blanket. So one half double around the stem of every stitch all the way around and don't worry if the if your work starts to cup slightly and when we do our next row we're going to increase so it will definitely flatten out again so that's the effect that we get from this stitch just work the same all the way around and then when you get to the last stitch again we're just going to slip stitch into the starting stitch and then fasten off the yarn It is a good idea to work in the ends as you're going along so that you've not got lots of ends to work in when you've finished the whole blanket. So that will conclude this first part of the blanket once you've got all the way around um, and we'll start on part two in the next video. I hope you've enjoyed working um, along with me for this first part and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.